So we are here at the Sanctum Murung. As we all know that uh, the demand for frontier naglen has been going on and it is at its highest peak at the moment and where we can witness right now in Kisama Heritage Village that seven tribes from Eastern Nagaland has abstained themselves uh, to participate at the Hornbill Festival this year. Now, uh, out of the seven tribes, each morong is placed on different levels. So now we will just go and check out what these morongs look like right now. Now, just above the Sangta Morong, we have the Yim Kyung Morong, uh, previously known as the Yim Chunga tribe, and uh, now the nomenclature has changed the Yim Kyung. Uh, now, this is the Morong. Now, if we can just go inside, uh, we'll just see what has been left behind this year and the empty Morong where there's no fire, nobody sitting, and this log drum that remains just uh, uh, as it is. And now uh, all the seven tribes, all their murungs will probably be like this as we speak at the Kisama Heritage Site. And um, this, the Frontier Naglin demand, the most crucial meet will be happening tomorrow at New Delhi where the ENPO members and leaders of various organizations will be meeting with Amit Shah, the Home Minister, in New Delhi tomorrow. And this meet is said to be the most crucial meet and we're just going to wait and see what happens. Over here we have, as can I just ask my camera person to just pan to the portable toilets that are here. This is just next to the Sangta Morong and now the reason why this is placed here when it could be placed anywhere for the use of tourists and the visitors over here, maybe, you know, the government had expected the seven tribes to take part in the Hornbill Festival. But now, as we can see, it is just lying as it is. We are also here at the Chang Murung, one of the most major tribes in Eastern Nagaland. And uh, as we can see, this is all lying vacant. And we have this log drum over here, a very magnificent Morong. If I can just tell my camera person to pan towards the spear, this huge giant spear as well. And this Morong is also lying vacant. We have here Max from Italy and uh, he is also very much aware of the political imbroglio that is happening in the state right now and we are just outside the Kemyung and Morong which is also empty as we speak. So Max, can you just tell us what is your take and uh, what, is, what do you know about what is happening and why these Morongs are empty? Uh, well, yes, I, I heard about this and I'm, I'm surprised and a little bit like, mm, you know, what disappointed that uh, all the tribes are not here but I can't avoid to, you know, make a parallelism what we what what's happening in Europe right now. Mm -hmm. As you know, Europe is like, is is like a group of countries which are mixing together to create a new, you know, entity. Yeah. And this is more or less what's happening here, you know, with all the different tribes coming together. Yeah. And the same the same issues we had in Europe for the European community, where like the identity of every single country. Uh, needs to be respected and you know uh, preserved. So I don't have like a personal you know stance on it because I don't know the the cultural instances enough. But sure, I I understand what what's going on and I wish that like all this like community like will get it together soon again. Yeah, sure. Uh, so, as you're aware, seven tribes have abstained. They're not taking part in the Hornbill Festival because they want a separate state. They want to, you know, move out from Nagaland, be separated. Do you think that's fair on their part? Because they say that they have been ignored by the government of Nagaland. They're underdeveloped. Do you think that's fair to to bring Hornbill Festival into the thing, to the scene right now? Do you think culture and politics should be? Together. Do you think they were they fair in not participating over here? Well, I mean, I'm nobody to judge, and if they take in this stance, probably they have their own reasons. Um, I believe that preserving the identities of each single tribe is very important, mm -hmm. but I also believe that unity is very important. If we just run singularly, individually, we won't be going anywhere. So we need to find, you know, a synthesis yeah. how to preserve and maintain our singular identity within a group mm. and this is what I wish is going to happen in Nagaland.
We have here Monica who is from Poland but now residing in Jaisalmer. This is her second time to the Hornbill Fest, the first time being in 2017. And now uh, 2022 has seen a lot of changes uh, with Hornbill Festival, especially the seven tribes that have, that have abstained themselves from participating. Yeah. So Monica, uh, do you know why this morong that we are here right now, the Chang morong, is empty and there's no celebration happening here. Uh, I think I'm not the specialist about the Naga politi politics, but uh, this what I heard is uh, because uh, those people like cognacs, uh, they need uh, um, they need some um, how to say the se se separate state, and they also uh, want to change their status according to the points which government giving to the tribes, mm -hmm. like uh, who which some tribes are more wise or less wild and g getting some more or less money uh, to because they are less development yeah. they develop sometimes and uh, yeah and that's the, they want to change it and they want the, to be separate somehow you know mm -hmm. and uh, that's that's why they um, they refuse to come for this festival but uh, I think it's very sad yeah. so my point of view is very sad because they were mostly very active and colorful mm -hmm. and uh, I think uh, uh, lots of tourists and lots of photographers also were coming because of those tribes mm -hmm. and yeah this is for me this is sad mm -hmm. I used to go I have been for a few times in Mon and Longwa and all these villages and I know th those people also like in personal some of them and uh, yeah and I used to meet some people here and now not it's sad yeah. Yes. But do you think it is fair on their part because they are demanding a separate state because they say that they have been ignored by mm -hmm. the government of Nagaland. So do you think it's fair that they are doing the right thing, that this is what they should do? Actually, I don't have much knowledge about this, but I think the people, you are uh, working here for the unity, you know, even this Hornbill Festival is to, you need all the tribes together. And uh, actually, somehow you are all Indian, even you don't look like Indian, but you belong to India yeah. and uh, you like it or not. But this is that, this is the fact. Yeah. And this is like, it's, very, it's, it's not, it's a bit stupid to be the separate, the separate of what, you know, yeah. and the, even they cannot survive themselves as a, some very small group. That, that's why, but I am the, always the fan of the unity. Yeah. That's, like, I don't see any sense with this that much. Yeah. So, as we have just seen, a few morongs that has been left abandoned, empty, and more like a, it's on the top layer of the main arena of the Hornbill Festival at Kisama Heritage Village. And it's, it's right at the top, and it's almost like a ghost town over here, where just, just a few... Uh, tourists and travelers that are just sitting and minding their own business over here and as we just spoke to two of them Monica and Max who are from two different countries yet they are very much aware of what is happening and also express a little sadness and um, disappointment but yet again they also like as Max just said that uh, the reason why Eastern Nagli and the seven tribes have abstained also they might have very good valid reasons in doing so Reporter Esther with camera person I am for Naglin News Network.